What's good with y'all? It's your boy Lee Hustle. What's up, man? We back at it again today. Well, not back at it again. We at it today. First YouTube channel. First YouTube video. So yeah. Don't mind me if I make a few mistakes. Today we got a QA, y'all though. Today we got a QA. Let's jump, let's jump right into it. But before we do that, like. Comment, subscribe. Now, the other question one: What made you want to do YouTube? Hmm. What made you want to do YouTube? Uh, thinking about the simple fact that like I'll be up at like two in the morning. <laughs> I'll be like two in the morning for like nothing to do, just scrolling while on YouTube, Instagram, back and forth, Facebook, nothing to do, like and just seeing all these cats make YouTube. So I'm like, okay, it's cool. I could do that. Then, by the simple fact, it be cats on here making content that be, I'm not, I'm okay. Make your money, you feel me? Make your money. I don't want y'all feel the type of way, those who got YouTube channels that's watching this, make your money. But, I do feel like, it's some cats that get on here and make a video about completely nothing and get six million views. For instance, scrolling down YouTube today before I logged into my account, they like they recommend you like little videos on there before you get started, and they be like, "Today I seen one it was like, me and my friends try to eat a 12 foot long pizza, 5.4 million views." I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't see. But yeah, uh, that really made me want to do YouTube. Like, hey, I'm pretty sure I can put out some good content, get some views. You know, why not? Why not? Be yeah, though, question two. Who or what inspires you? Uh, I would say it's a few people and a few things that inspire me. For one, your boy right here. The GOAT. The GOATY. Yes, sir, Skate. Do what you want. He said it himself. I do what I want. You do what you can. I do what I want. No cap. True story. True story. But yeah, though. Uh... Oh, is he Vert? Gunner. Y'all knew Gunner was coming. I understand. I understand. Y'all was waiting on me to say Gunner. Those who know me, like, he didn't say, he said, Uzi, no. What's understood don't gotta be unexplained. It don't gotta be explained. It don't gotta be explained. I'm playing an instrumental right now. Gunner, number one. But yeah, though. Uh, what else? I would say not just like professional athletes or all that other stuff, artists and stuff. Uh, keep it home. I would say like my uncles, John, BJ, Monk, Bruce, James, like cats that really put me in a situation where I was like, okay, like I can be my best self. I can, I can do this. Like, and showing me like you ain't gonna get to where you wanna be until you take a step back and be like, okay, be yourself. Like, be yourself. A lot of times when we young, we be flashing trying to impress females, whatever, or whatnot, even our homies, you know? And we make up a fake facade or persona about ourselves. They're like, no, they like, put me to the corner, like, to the side, like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go where you wanna go, you gotta be yourself, you feel me? That's the only way it's gonna work, like, literally, like, it's a blueprint right here. And the blueprint says, be yourself. Like, there's literally nothing else you can do if you wanna get to where you wanna be. So they inspire me every day, just let me know, like, the only way you ever gonna be blessed or get to where you wanna be in life is just be yourself. True story. But yeah though, question number three. Would you ever wanna be famous? Mm, I mean, I wouldn't say like, I, I, I wanna be famous. Cause like, that's not what I live for. I don't, I don't, like I don't live to be like, okay, I wanna be famous. But I do wanna touch people. Like I wanna make people like, you feel me? like. Well, Dirk say the voice. <laughs> Not necessarily the voice, man, but like just being an advocate for so many different type of things. Whether it's mental health, fashion, sports, anything. Like, I want to put on, you know, for my peoples in my last name, like my city. I just want to put on for the culture. For the culture. That way. <laughs> but yeah, though. Uh, so I guess you could say that's me wanting to be famous in a sense because what I want to do, it'll lead. To me becoming famous, so I guess you can say yeah. 
Question number four. Should have been question number one, but I guess I'm dyslexic. <laughs> but yeah, um, where am I from? Ben Harbor, Michigan. I'm pretty sure y'all like Ben Harbor, Michigan. Like, what is that? I'm from the mid, not the dirty one. But yeah, though, from Ben Harbor, Michigan. Uh, mm -hmm. 19 years of age. Some say I look like I'm 23. Some say I look like I'm 40. I don't know if that's a compliment or them saying I look like a hobo because I don't have a haircut. Comment below what you think. Uh, question number five. What is your biggest aspiration in life? I would say my biggest aspiration in life would be... Y'all y'all gonna say I'm finna chase the bag. I ain't even finna say that. It ain't even finna be that. I got you. My biggest aspiration personally. Um, hmm. Biggest aspiration personally. I would say inner peace. Inner peace. For the simple fact that like there's so many things in life that you can chase, and you can rightfully so get them. You can receive them. But you can receive everything, but if you ain't got any peace, once that's taken away, you lost. Like, you out of there. <laughs> You're out of there. But I feel like if you're okay with them, can't nothing phase you. And I ain't talking about being nonchalant, cold hearted. I'm talking about being at peace. Being in a situation to where, like, I, I lost my keys to my cop, man. It's, I'm at peace. I'm at peace. Uh, I wrecked my car. I'm at peace. Lights got cut off. Get them paid, but I'm at peace. You feel me? Like, just being at peace with things, being at peace with the decisions you made, with the friends you may have surpassed or cut off, or even they may have surpassed you, and you feel some type of way. Like, ah, learn how to be at peace. Be at peace. It's one thing I'm chasing forever. And I feel like some cats get it late in age, and some of us fortunate enough to get it now, and some of us, unfortunately, don't ever get it. So, uh, just, I would say that's my biggest aspiration. Just getting in the peace. Um, let me see, let me see. How many siblings I got? I got three. I mean, I got three. Yeah, I got three. Three. Shout out to big sis. Well, I got two older sisters. Oldest sister, though, second mom to me, Keisha Lace. Keisha Lace. Second sister, she the middle child, Jazz. That's my, that's my guy. My guy, that's twin. That's twin right there. But oh uh, yeah, my little brother Enoch. I'm not giving out ages because I know, I know, like I know what y'all be on. I got my sister logging into her page on Facebook. So yeah, uh huh. It's up there. <laughs> I'm just playing, for I'm just playing. But yeah, though, three siblings, uh, two older than me, one younger than me. I was the baby till I was like 12. Then, like, I woke up, and my mama had a knot on her stomach. I thought she fell, but she did fall, but <laughs> not on what I thought she fell out. <laughs> but, yeah, though, folk, had a kid, man, yeah. Ain't the baby no more. It's tough. It sucks. But love my little brother to death, though. Next question. Who would be your ideal partner? I do not know. I would say who? Who? I'm not gonna, okay, matter of fact, we're gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna say who, cause I can't like, I can't just tell you a shorty right now. Like, no, I can't give you a female that I wanna be with, cause I don't. But like, what would my, would my ideal partner look like? To me, to my naked eye, my naked eye, I would just say like, pretty long hair, slim waist, cute face, everything in the right place. I'm freestyling. But no, that's to the naked eye though. To my soul though, to like the inner me, what I really need. You know? Because a lot of times we say, okay, what do we want from our partner? Or what do we want a partner to look like? No, nah, what do I need my partner to be like, you know? It's a lot of things that I want, but what do I need from my girl? So I would say, what would my ideal partner be? She would be, first of all, first and foremost, God fearing, God fearing. Gotta have a woman that's tapped into it spiritually with God. Gots to be. Gots to be. Ain't no other way. 
But yeah, though, God fearing, uh, charming, somebody that really is, is like they're past that phase to where they're having problems with self love. Like, because I feel as if when you're struggling with self love, you struggle with how you treat others. So, the shorty I be with, I in my like spend the rest of my life with, she has to have a, a, a substantial amount of self love to where she knows how to put others before her. Because the selfless people are the ones that love themselves the most. Selfish people are the ones that love the least. I mean, preach, Lee Hustle. I understand. I'm preaching. You're sweating. You're crying right now because you're like, how does he? How does he know this? Don't worry. But yeah, though. She would be very compassionate, um, good at hearing. Good at hearing, because I talk a lot. Even my homeboy said, you talk too much. Uh, yeah. Good at hearing. Um, cooking. Cooking. I suck. I suck. I'm telling you this now. Whoever, my future wife, if you're watching this, I suck. I cannot cook. I make a mean bowl of cereal. You feel me? Um, I burnt a grilled cheese before. So, yeah, that just tells you what, what all, all you need to know. I can't cook. So, yeah, she must know her way around the kitchen. And not only know her way, she must want to be in the kitchen. <laughs> it's just because I can't cook. I can't do nothing for you. And we're, we, can't eat at, we can't eat out every day. We can't. It's not happening. But, um, yeah, that intelligence, you got to be able to be, the like, at times, the smartest person in the room. I don't want a shorty that I'm always giving games to or giving knowledge to. I want somebody that's going to challenge me. Like, I want to be with somebody that's like, okay, Malik, you should read up on this. I, you read? Like, you read? Yeah, honey, it's fundamental. Oh, my God. Well, call me Sally and give me a ranch. I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. But, yeah, though, all those things, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I got a lot of standards, so don't think you're going to get me that easily. But yeah, though, uh, who's my favorite musical artist? Do we even have to talk about that? Do we seriously need to even talk about that? It's the one of the only, Sergio Kitchens. If you don't know who Sergio Kitchen is, that's a, matter of fact, I'm not even giving his stage name. Sergio Kitchens, S-E-R-G-I-O, Kitchens. Kitchens, y'all know how to spell Kitchens. If not, read. It's fundamental, honey. <laughs> but yeah, though, know, Sergio Kitchens, look that up. You're going to find out who that is. He's a demon. He's the, he's the GOAT. He's the best. He's the best. But yeah, though, know, um, what is my dream job? My dream job is to one day play professional basketball, be a model, be a model for all my fashionists and my fashionistas, you feel me? Uh, those are my dream jobs. Can't get really, ain't gonna really get too deep into the dream job, you feel me? You don't get really too deep in it, because it ain't a dream. It's not a dream. It's, it's reality, you feel me? Yeah. It's gonna happen. It's, it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when. So it's not really a dream. But I'll give y'all that one, though. Uh, what do I like to do? What do I like to do? Uh, I'm not gonna say like I love. Love working out. I go to the gym every day, seven days a week. One of my homeboys built all on me today. We ain't gonna say his name. Who is he? But yeah, though, work hard every day, hoop every day. Right now, I mean, I'm getting um, physical therapy for my legs, so I ain't really hooping every day, but working out, though, slow and steady, getting back to pace, getting back to 100%. Uh, love fashion, love trying new things, trying new fits, man. I'm not a dripper. I'm not a big-time dripper. I'm a big-time fashion. You feel me? I love fashion. I love fashion. It's a difference. Y'all gonna learn some later. It's a difference between drip and fashion. It's a difference. I love fashion. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do I like to do? On my spare time, probably watch watch a lot of anime. A lot of anime. Hunter and Hunter. Hunter and Hunter. Top five, top five. Top five anime. Top five anime. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else do I like to do? Love reading the Bible. Love reading the Bible. Stay close to God, just making sure I'm on my P's and Q's. Uh, question number 11. Ah, I forgot to keep count. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. If you could have anything in the world, what would it be and why? If I could have any worldly possession, anything. 
I would have keys to a pink Lamborghini Urus with the white and cream interior. Mm, 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 mm. Or I would have the keys to all the passcodes at the Nike and Dior Corporation. I would have literally every clothing item in there. Last one, question 12, but really not a question. Fun fact. Fun fact. Y'all see this right here? Right there, that long line. Fun fact. Not really a fun fact, but it's a fact for sure. A lot of people ask me, like, like dang, like, why, how you get that long scar on your face? I didn't get stabbed. I didn't get sushi. You feel me? Ain't nobody come up to me and run my pockets or nothing, folks. Ain't nobody on that just because I'm light skinned, though. Yeah. Just play it. But nah, though, uh, I was like eight years old. Duke's like, it's time to go to bed. Like, it's time. I'm like, it's not time. Like, I'm not going to sleep. She's like, it's, it's time. I'm like, okay, cool. She goes to the bathroom. She's like, okay, check it out. If you are not in the bed by the time I come out the bathroom, you got to see me. You feel me? And we all know what that means. So I'm like, okay, cool. Before, now before this, I threw my pajama pants, some Superman pajama pants on a chandelier in my room. I'm seven or eight, so I'm not too tall. So the chandelier is pretty high. Threw my pajamas up there. She's like, by the time I got out the bathroom, those pajamas on the chandelier, they better be off the chandelier on your legs. You better be in the bed. I said, okay, cool. I'm not finna get a whooping over something this petty, so. Fine, cool. I did it. But. Went to the tool shop, I mean, went to the toolbox in the crib, grabbed a um, flashlight, threw the flashlight up there. Boom. Chandelier didn't move really. Pants didn't come down. Try it again. Boom. It didn't come out. Okay. Try one more time. Slung up there a little, as much as might as I could. Boom. Hits the chandelier. Flashlight hits the chandelier. Pajamas come down. I'm like, okay, I got my pajamas. Bro. As the as the um sh the, the pajamas are falling down, the chandelier literally comes out of the ceiling. The ceiling. I don't know what kind of house he was in. It had to be section eight. <laughs> comes out of the ceiling, bro. And it literally cuts open my entire face, folks. Like all of this meat was hanging back here, just hanging off my face, like dangling. I'm not crying or nothing, because I don't, literally don't know what's going on. All I know is my hands are red. I don't know I'm bleeding, because it just happened. It's like, <laughs> like, whole face open. I go to the bathroom, like, my mom, like, I'm bleeding. She look at me, like, just get to screaming, crying. Go to the hospital, my grandma pick us up. We get to the hospital, blood all over the seats. We get in the car, I mean, we get, we get out the car, we get in the hospital. They didn't sedate me. I ain't gonna even say what hospital this was. They didn't even sedate your boy. They kept me alive. They kept me awoke, y'all, and gave me stitches. They had to pin me down on my back. It took like six, like my moms, you know, my sisters, my grandma, a couple doctors, and they had to restrain and pass on me. Lay me on my back and gave me stitches while I was conscious. Killed me, it hurt so bad, it was crazy. But yeah, though, that was it, you guys. Uh, Q&A, we got more content coming for you. Don't even worry. But run up that like button for me. You dig? Comment. Subscribe. And if y'all can guess, if y'all can guess uh, the ages of my siblings, this is yours. This is yours. You can have it. This is yours. If you can guess the age of all my three siblings, first try. Comment below. Love y'all. Y'all have a good night, man.